Hey everybody, it's me, Tom Angleberger. I'm dressed up like Geronimo Stilton because I just illustrated this graphic novel about Geronimo Stilton. It's called Geronimo Stilton and the Sewer Rat Stink. Man, it really stinks. Well, I mean, the book doesn't stink. The sewer rats stink. Anyway, uh, you can read a book, find out about that. What I wanted to do today was show you guys how to draw Geronimo Stilton. I've been drawing Geronimo Stilton a lot lately. I thought you guys might like to learn how to do it. Let's see if I can pull this off. Uh, I've got my big marker here, and I've got my big pad of paper. Let's see what I can do. So, for Geronimo, uh, now, of course, I don't draw Geronimo as well as they did in those original Geronimo books. I had to come up with my own pretty simple way of doing it. Here's how I do it. I start with one big line down like this, okay? That helps me figure out where I'm going to put him in the panel. And then when I know where he's going to go, I come down with another line, and I draw it way out there like that, and then I bring it all the way back so it touches this other line, okay? This is going to be his snout, okay? And out the end of his snout, I know he's going to have his nose. So that part's always easy to get. I know he's going to have a nose. And um, then I know he's going to have his ears. So that's just a loop. And this other ear is just a loop. And then each one of them have a line inside them. Like that. Starting to look like Geronimo a little bit? I hope so. Down here, this is going to be one side of his suit. That will be the other side of his suit. Draw a little U down in there. That's where his shirt's going to be. A line here and a line there. Those are his uh, shirt collars. And then a line down, and another line down. That's his tie, all right? And then you're going to draw his arms. You can draw his arms going wherever you want to. In this case, like that. And he's got, uh, just like my suit here, he's got lapels on each side. That sounds like it might be hard to draw, but it's actually one of the easiest things to draw. It's just a little zigzag. Okay, don't get too fussy about that. And then last, draw a line here with some buttons like that. So we've got him pretty well clothed now. Let's go ahead and give him a paw. That's just a U with three circles in it. I think we're doing pretty good. Now we've got to decide how we're going to draw Geronimo. Um, is he smelling something terrible and he's like, Bleh! or is he scared by something and he's like, Weak! or maybe we'll just have him like he is in the front of the book. Maybe he's pretty happy right now. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to draw... I won't draw his eyes too big. When he gets excited, his eyes get really big. These eyes will be about regular size. So it's not a whole circle. It bumps into that line over there. Give it a dot. Same thing with this other one. There we go. And now we draw a big smile. There he is, folks. There's uh, Geronimo Stilton. Wait, wait. We forgot the most important thing. What is it? Do you remember? It says glasses. They're real easy to draw. You just draw half a circle, and then a whole circle. Is that easy? There he is, folks. Geronimo Stilton. All right, I hope you'll check out his new graphic novel, Geronimo Stilton and the Sewer Rat Stink. And I really appreciate you tuning in to learn how to draw. If you get, get a nice drawing, hey, make sure you send it to me. I'm at origamiyoda.com. You can find me there or on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks a lot, everybody. Great talking to you.